Today we proudly take you behind the scenes at Nomos Glashütte. Known for their unique design language, Nomos is one of very few independent watchmakers that not only produces its own calibers in-house, which is impressive enough, but also produces their very own escapement, the very heart of a mechanical watch. We start our journey in the Nomos production hall in Glashütte. This is where the components that will eventually make up the various calibers are being produced. The production process blends high-tech with traditional handcraft for optimal results. In this room, for example, we see steel and brass rods being transformed into small movement parts. This is also where Nomos would work on its escapement. Setting up the machines for a particular part can take hours and even days depending on the parts they are supposed to produce. The parts produced here, which still require gear teeth, are further refined in a separate room, which we see here. Now the parts that are being worked on here vary from small to absolutely tiny. I should mention that along the entire process that we will see here in this video, various mechanical and optical quality checks are made to ensure that the parts are as perfect as can be. Quality checks are constant and everywhere. The parts that are being manufactured under this roof then require a nice wash once in a while, which happens here in this special room. Now moving to perhaps the noisiest area of the facility, we see CNC machines hard at work on parts such as the plates and bridges. Now we will follow along here as a main plate slowly comes to life. Minor parts are created by means of wire erosion, also known as electro-discharge machining, a manufacturing process mainly used in the aerospace industry, requiring expert machinists. What you see here are the jewels, which are first being arranged the right side up and then mounted in place. It is a very repetitive task and therefore technology rightly takes over here. Now in this room it's all hands on deck. The machined parts are carefully checked, perfected and finally also decorated by hand.
the decorations then we see the before and after we see how glasshutte stripes really liven up the parts and then here the glasshutte sunburst decoration is applied Now, fun fact, there are less than a handful of people able to do this at Nomos and each one of them will be able to distinguish their own decoration work from their colleagues. Now move to the chronometry where watchmakers will assemble the movement, test the movement and at the very end of a long process with dial and hands in place the caliber will be encased turning the various parts in a fully functioning and highly reliable Nomos Glashütte wristwatch. Perhaps to add some perspective, this is where a lot of other brands just start their process. So since many will have skipped the effort we have just seen at the production facility. Assembly of the movements requires patience and silence. So I will be quiet here for a bit as we admire some of the steadiest hands in Germany work their magic. Here perhaps the most patient man on the planet is checking the Nomos swing system, Nomos' in-house escapement to ensure everything is as it should be. If your Nomos watch has the swing system, it had to get past these checks. Now, before casing a fully assembled Nomos movement will still be regulated over a span of several days. Now then, finally, as 
we move to the upper floor in perhaps the quietest room of the building, the calibers are finally encased and the watches truly come to life. Now, worth mentioning is that after casing, the watch will be tested again for another week or so, and it is only when it gets through that round of testing that it finally gets its strap or bracelet, and can it be called a wristwatch at last. Now this wraps up our visit to the Nomos Manufacture. Sincere thank you to everyone at Nomos that welcomed us and tolerated our presence on the work floor. It was a real pleasure and I hope this video shows you all what makes them so special indeed.